Welcome back everybody to another TCG unboxing. We've got a new little desk set up, a new little recording area with lots of new little features and shelving to set new things up on. We got an awesome little GLiOS party in the front and the wall of unboxings in the back, which as you can see, I switched around a little bit, got nice and cleaned up for us. Even added some new things. I don't know if you can spot that little box over there. Looks to be pretty exciting. I can't wait to jump into more of these things, but the new desk and setup is very cool. I think it's going to work out very nicely. And don't worry, the wall's going to be in a lot of the shots still. I got to show off all the boxes and stuff. It's just too cool not to. Lots of exciting things. I just spent the last two days setting up and rearranging things so I could have this all ready to go for you guys. I'm literally recording this Saturday, so the day before this video is getting posted. Hopefully, fingers crossed that I can finish it tonight. And I really wanted to jump back into some Force of Will, so that's what we've got going on today with one of my favorite sets, Echoes of the New World. We are only missing one more bandmate to finish up uh, our little alternate art collection that we've been diving in and digging and searching for in these boxes. I've still got quite a few of these boxes left, but it's a great set. I love this set. And and I really, really want to find that last alternate art to complete the set of five that we have going here so I can put that one at rest finally. So I hope you guys are ready. We're going to jump into it here and switch sides and get to opening and speed through this box really quickly. If you enjoy the video and if you enjoy these unboxings, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. it helps the channel out a lot. Okay, let's get going. All right, let's get into Echoes of the New World. Come on, we just need Marabella. That is the last alternate art that we need to find for this set. And then we would have completed the collection. So we need the bass player. The bass player, I don't know how it goes in bands. Or is the bass player the last person you find in a band? Because that's how it's going for us. We've gotten Cayuga, we've gotten Alice, we've gotten Charlotte. And now we just need our bass player. So, yep, let's get it open. Let's set up the box. And let's just take a second to admire the nice little setup. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. All right, but that's enough of that. Let's get into our first pack here of Echoes. And let's see what happens. That's right. I always forget they put a little common boy on the front, but we don't care about that so much. We're just going to go to the end and find straight away with a dark alice that's pretty lit okay off to a pretty good start a nice foil dark alice already off to a decent pull to start us off so that's kind of just what we're gonna do here we're just gonna go to these and go kabam valentina looking pretty freaking cool that way we can just speed through this box quickly i think i usually just kind of went like this something sort of kind of yeah something like that Cayuga beautiful darkness and bang oh my gosh our first J ruler to start and it's the foil flute time altering priestess oh my goodness I have so many of her it's ridiculous I think I have like five now I always get this one for some reason it's funny uh, but a beautiful card beautiful beautiful card first uber rare I ever pulled so can't complain with this one. And that's only our third pack in. That's insane. And that was from the middle row, actually. So interesting. Where will our nice little art alternate art be hiding? Hopefully towards the back a little bit more to keep the suspense going, you know? There we go. We got Charlotte, last hope of a trash yell. Very nice. Next one in. Get it out here. Bang, bang. It always trips me up because I'm so used to God Packs having that foil on the front that this is just confusing. Star Fragment. And Cheshire Cat, Phantasmal Fighter. Very sharp. I love the artwork on this card. Next in, let's go. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, all right, packs are glued. A little bit weird. There we go. We got a Nightfall dude on the top. We've got a Shezerod. Very cool. Speaker of the Yet Unknown Truths. And a Time Altering Magic Stone. Very sweet. All right, nothing too crazy yet. We're, you know, we're just looking for that altar, really. And man, oh man, I hope we can hit Marabella. Come on, time altering magic stone in the full art. Very, very cool. Now that is the one thing that we needed to hit was a full art of her. It goes for a lot more uh, of the J Ruler full arts, obviously, but I love this card. It is so cool to look at. Very nice card. It's not worth a dime though. All right, we're grabbing some from the lucky left side. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. We got the top one, the top stack. We got the Worman. Ooh, Sylvia, yes, full arts of her still go for a banger of a buck. So I'm putting all of those to the side. And we got Millennia, successor of the future as our foily, our little foily, our foily boily. Oh, uh, uh, okay, there we go. 
and we kind of have to do one of those and then we'll get nice and close we got dude how many of these am i gonna get dang that's like my fourth one with the shining demon mistopheles a dope card with some amazing artwork come on you gotta give it to it that is some really sharp stuff right there i just love the cards in this set man they're so cool looking i mean just so many good ones so many good cards Vo uh viola viola vengeful girl we got a token shadow and bang our second j ruler already in a full art re-earth new world fairy tale very very cool full art it is not really worth anything there's the reverse side book of light unfortunately unfortunately it's not really worth anything the promo for this card actually goes for a ton more I think it's like a $40 promo or something, but it's cool full art. We needed to flip flop though. We need this regular and this in the full art. It's a J ruler hit though. You know, I think, can't remember. I think we get, how many do we get in these old boxes? I can't, I can't remember how many we find in here. Cayuga is our rare. We got Heteroclite, Excalibur, and bang, <laughs> there's our alt art. That's insane. All right, we got Prissia ready for the final battle a beautiful card i love the greens we do have this one unfortunately uh so we got to keep hunting we got to keep looking for it but we'll put her there we'll give her some good luck to the rest of the box you never know what else we can find in here maybe we'll get lucky and get more than uh one alternate art or maybe we'll get even luckier and pull us off freaking banger uber rare which would be insane we got crimson sanction in a full art sick card Bang, and uh, bang, okay, wow, what the frick is going on with this freaking pack? All right, here we go, Red Riding Hood, we got the Fire Magic Stone, we got Nara Lethotep, Realized Truth, dope, dope, bang, open, ooh, that one opened way better, okay, there we go, we got the little beast, Yigdor, Water Magic Stone, and Sylvia Blade in the foiling, let's go, gotta give me those. I think, depending on if you pull a full art flute or how many of the Sylvias you pull, that makes or breaks your box with Echoes of the New World. I'm pretty sure, because those are some pretty expensive cards in there. Next up, we shall dig in and find Zero! Oh, my girl, Zero. Very, very cool. I want to get a full art of this one. Am I still missing the full art? Ooh, we got Alice here. Very nice. A nice looking Alice, actually. I love the blue planet one. It's so cool. I think we are. I think we haven't gotten a full art of zero, the, the King's Blade, the King's Blade. I think this is the only like full art zero I'm missing, which is crazy. So there we go. We've got, you know, side quests on all these boxes that we always go for. We've got our main missions and then we got our side quests and we're going straight to the Sylvia Blade of the Supreme King. What's going to be at the end though? We've got Rezard, the King of the Damned. Not a great card, not worth anything. Next up, let's see it. Uh, ba -ba bang And we'll go to the end. Oh, I love the artwork on this card. I don't know, something, it just does it for me, you know? The Mikaje Sisters, and Fire Magic Stone, and we got Charlotte, non-full art, just the hollow. Let's see it, let's see it. Right into it. Okay, no God Pack here, but that's all right. We got Marabella, that's the girl we're missing, unfortunately. Cayuga, Love of the Moon in a foil. And, ooh, I see some red shinies at the back. Could it be a Sylvia full art? I certainly hope so. Let's see, we've got... Wow, okay, that just fell. All right, wait, we're not revealing yet, though. Oh, wait, we might have revealed something. Holy crap. All right, we got Lilith's Petal, and... Okay, I saw the token, I saw the token. Oh, we got Gil! Gil Lapis in a nice full art. Very, very cool. Digging the card. I'm not a huge fan of Gil, but he has some cool artwork, uh, given the set. You know, he doesn't have two terrible ones in this one. And... Oh, yeah! There we go. Bang. Let's skip it to the end. Valentina, Water Magic Stone, and Lilith Petal, Kitsune King. Oh my gosh, is this card not expensive? But that's all right. That's all right. Oh, what do we have here? What's this foil? Oh, Red, Red Hood? Oh man, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. That's an interesting one. Spawn of War. We got Fail. Cool card. Rylou's Voltman or whatever. Prissia, ready for the final battle. The normal version. We got the Alt Art over here, but that is not a terrible card to get in a nice full art. We got Shining Demon Mistopheles one more time, and then we get ba-bang. What is that? Ambition of Lands or something? Fire Magic Stone? 
and then a Refarth's Wall of Flames. All right, we got the rest of the packs out of the box. So let's stack them up over there and go for gold. Uber rare, uber rare or the zero. Let's do it. Let's see what we've got here. We got Arla Girl or Guy, I don't know, Red Riding Hood. And we got Darkness of Magic Stone with, ooh, Gale Force. Very cool, the artwork I like and a nice foiling. Banging on, let's see it. So we've got, ooh, we've had that one before. All right, let's try to not go all the way to the final card. Let's get a little bit of a build up here. We got Strange Miracle, we got Severing Winds, classic super rare, and a banger of a nice Wind Magic Stone with the alt art or well, it's basic for this set, but dang, this artwork is so amazing. I love these cards. I will never complain when I get one of those foiled alt art wind magic stones. I call them alt art because it's just very uncommon for them to do them like that, basically. And there's Zero tempting us one more time with... Oh, what the freak is this? Interdimensional space? Blah. All right, Zero or Uber Rare, let's see it. We got a common on top here. It didn't look familiar to me, so I had to double check that I wasn't missing something. Viola again, a Fire Magic Stone, and uh, the Enforcer of the Future, Ugh, the Monkey King. Next up, we've got, let's see it. I saw some bright shininess on the end there, so I'm curious as to what this one could be. We will start from here, I guess. I don't know. It's just where I want to. Neo Barrier of Shadows. We got Grim Boy. We got Dawn of Reef Earth. Of Oh, just Earth. Super rare. Another Wind Magic Stone. Yo, okay. Two of these? That's pretty crazy. It has like a buck or two value, honestly. So if you pick them up, hold on to them, you know? They're decent ones to just have. And they look amazing if you're playing a deck that is based off of wind. Or any of them, really. Any of those kinds look really freaking sweet. There it is again, bang, just the normal version, and then Truth of Time as our foiled. Hoo, yeah, there we go, there we go. All right, let's see this. We've got Rulu, Rulu, it's not Rulu, Rilu, Abdul, Darkness Magic Stone, and Soul Debt. We're getting close to the end, so let's see if we can end on some bangers with this weird looking like spirit bear combo thing. I don't know what's going on with that one. All right. We got Floating Castle, Rezard. We got Alice, ooh, of the Blue Planet, just normal. And then, ooh, Water Magic Stone in the nice foiled. Very cool. Next one up. Let's see it. All right. We got, oh, we'll just go through it like this one. Sure. I'm not going to go through this stack. Let's just see all the cards. Zero again, just hanging in. Oh, Wind Magic Stone. Is it lucky? Nope. It's just the Wall of Flames. Ah, can never get the Zero to help me out, you know? Usually she's like a bad omen now at this point because she just like taunts us. Like, oh, you think you're going to get me? You think this is lucky or something? No, it's not. Sylvia, on the other hand, though, maybe she'll come in handy. Win Magic Stone and Rylu. Nope, she didn't come in handy this time. Now, this set is kind of weirdly predictable. And I know from previous openings that whenever I got a lot of the Sylvia blades, um... I usually wound up getting at least one full art of her, which would help a ton. You kind of just see like a trend of repeating duplicate cards, which is interesting. Water Magic Stone, and it's not in this pack though. We got Wicked Spirit Eye. But we only got two packs left. Will we find a new Barrera? I don't know, this one feels kind of heavy, so I'm gonna leave it for the end. I don't know if the card has any difference in weight, but we shall see. We're just gonna go through them normally, as we've been doing. Because why not, you know? Why not? We got the Lilith Petal, Dark Alice, very nice, and a Light Magic Stone Foil. The final pack. Now, we've already gotten two J-Rulers. I don't remember. We must not get a third. We must only get two in these older ones. And we got an alternate art of Prissia, which honestly, though, again, I'm not mad about this Prissia because it is one of the more expensive alternate arts from this set. I think it goes for probably 25, 30, something like that. Uh, people like Prissia, though. She's a popular character, so her card does go for a little pretty penny. Uh, Mirabella is, like, semi-decent. People do like Mirabella. I think Charlotte's, like, the cheapest one, honestly. And then, like, Cayuga. Um, I don't know why, though. Cayuga is super cool. Narlathotep, Realized Truth. And just another foil water magic stone wow 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 we didn't even get a full art sylvia blade of the supreme king that is kind of crazy and disappointing honestly we got one just regular foil i think it's like a ten dollar card something like that 
couple normal versions. We did start off with the Dark House foil, but no full art of her. I'm not going to complain too bad. It was just a so-so box. These were definitely our two bangers right here. Our nice Flute and Prissia are definitely going to be the most expensive cards in this box that we opened up. Which, again, these are dope cards. I love them. I love them. They're super cool. Like 18, 15, 18, 30, 25, 30, something like that. Like freaking $3. I don't know. Nothing. But hey, it's okay. We've got, if you look right here in this cube, we've got a few more boxes of Echoes of the New World. So look for more of those. We will complete the alternate art Bandcamp Girl sets. We will do it. I love this set. It is such a fun box to go through. It always has fun things to find. And hopefully you guys enjoyed too. If you stuck all the way to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. While you're here, make sure to leave a little like on the video and subscribe so you can see all the other crazy stuff we're going to be opening up in the future here. So stay tuned for that and we will see you guys in the next video.